Hey, what is up guys? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use slip tool and slide tool in Adobe Premiere Pro. I've already prepared some clip on a project in Adobe Premiere Pro to demonstrate how you can use slip tool and slide tool. So first, let's see how you can use the slip tool. By the name, you may understand what will it do. You can slip usable part of your clip using this slip tool, right? The fifth one under this tool group is the slip tool. Here you can see this is the slip tool and the shortcut is y if you press y on your keyboard you can select the slip tool i'm just clicking here to select the tool and now here you can see the first frame is not hitting the ball a man is not hitting the ball but i want to start the video when the man is hitting the football right so to do that i can just manually trim the clip and i can select that portion but using slip tool you can do it automatically if you just click and drag it and you can see there are four different part is showing here the top left thumbnail will show the end frame of the first clip and the top right frame will show the end frame of this third clip right and the bigger two frame will show the part that we are going to use for this clip so if i just click and drag it you can see i can change the usable part of my clip so if i just release it here then if i play it back you can see the clip is starting when this man is hitting the ball right so you can change the usable part of your clip using this slip tool if i just click and drag it here you can see that is changing now the man is not hitting the ball anymore and again if i want to start the frame when the ball is hitting i can just click and drag and i can see when the man is hitting the ball right from here and then if i release it if i play it back yes he's hitting the ball so that is the use of slip tool now let's show you how you can use the slide tool right so here three different clip this one is a landscape again this is a bridge again this is a landscape right to use the slide tool again we have to go here and we have to press and hold to select the slide tool or we can use u on our keyboard to select this tool right i'm just clicking here to select the slide tool and now if i click and drag it here you can see the duration of the middle clip is not actually changing it is just sliding between the first clip and the third clip right you can see the duration of the first clip and the last clip is changing only but the duration actual duration of the middle clip is not changing right so you can see the middle clip the duration of this clip is still the same when we have started and the duration of this first clip and the third clip have been changed again if i just click and drag it here i can slide this clip between these two clips so that's it that is how you can use slip tool and slide tool in adobe premiere pro to change the position and the duration of clips using the slipping and sliding method right i will put the clip in the description below you can just use that link and you can download the clips to follow along with me using these exact same clips right so that is all i will catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye